Many companies have been working on solid state batteries, semi-solid state batteries as well. They're even closer to reaching mass production. However, there's still some real significant challenges that haven't been solved. Those include reliability. Now though, Harvard engineers have developed solid state batteries with performance and significant reliability improvements. Hello my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking, great to see you. I'm gonna put some links in the description below to the videos that I've made about solid state battery technology. There's a number of companies working on it. I think probably the most likely companies to mass manufacture solid state batteries right now are actually in the USA. However, there are some battery companies in China making semi-solid state batteries which will be mass produced more than likely next year. Now there are some challenges with solid state batteries. One of them is um, actually just making them last long enough. Now lithium ion phosphate batteries, as you know, they last a long time. I mean, now we're seeing batteries that are probably gonna get about a million miles, which use lithium ion phosphate cells. So that's the big advantage of them. But still energy density is not as good as ternary batteries, it could be better. And they're pretty heavy and charging is not anywhere near as fast as the charging speeds we're seeing potentially come from new solid state batteries. Well, now engineers in the lab of Xin Li, an associate professor of material science at Harvard's John A. Paulson School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, have developed a new solid state battery that is capable of 10,000 lifetime cycles and a charge rate of only three minutes. This is insane, unbelievable. 10,000 lifetime cycles means this solid state battery could theoretically last for 100 years. Now this revolutionary technology has brought in an exclusive grant from Harvard's Office of Technology Development for Lee's startup, Adden Energy Inc., which will help develop cells with improvements in reliability and performance that could be used in future applications for electric vehicles. In fact, not could be. If these batteries are what they say they are, they will be. Lee, along with Fred Hu, William Fitzhugh, and Lu Han Yi, all PhD recipients at Harvard, founded Adden Energy in 2021. The startup was launched last year to develop palm-sized pouch cells for various applications. And the cells are essentially a trial run for future mass production projects which include a full scale vehicle battery within the next three years. So we're here, we're still years away. However, this solid state battery technology has demonstrated a lot more cycles than any other solid state battery. I mean, 10,000, that's more than batteries in cars that we're seeing now with lithium ion phosphate cells. This really takes things to an entirely different level. Imagine you could buy a car, that could fully charge in three minutes and would have 10,000 cycles, meaning the battery is going to outlive the life of the car by many, many, probably many decades. If this is the future, well, I'm pretty excited to be part of that future in some way, simply by presenting you guys with this information. I'm going to follow this company and see what they do over the next few years. If you want to electrify vehicles, a solid state battery is the way to go, Lee said in an interview with Harvard. We set out to commercialize this technology because we do see our technology as unique compared to other solid state batteries. We have achieved in the lab 10,000 charge cycles in a battery's lifetime compared with 2,000 to 3,000 charging cycles for the best in class now. And we don't see any fundamental limit to scaling up our battery technology. This could be a game changer. That's what he said, not what I said. I don't know if this is a game changer yet because mass production is the hardest part. Very, very difficult to mass produce. I mean, these batteries could cost a billion dollars to make one pack. I'm exaggerating, of course. The key point here, cost is important. Now, even if they are expensive though, this is the kind of battery pack that you're probably gonna see in like high-end Lamborghinis and really expensive cars that cost in the millions plus. It'll be perfect, but you never know. You could even see them in more affordable cars as well. 
Solid state batteries utilize a solid material to allow energy to flow from the cathode to the anode. Instead of traditional lithium ion cells, which utilize a liquid electrolyte solution, EV makers have not been able to switch to solid state technology as of late due to complex manufacturing processes. And of course, its struggles with reliability. Additionally, researchers have not been able to find ideal solutions for the material it would utilize in the batteries. This continues to be a pain point for the development of solid state batteries. I mean, a few years ago, they were saying they were just a few years off. Now they're still saying they're a few years off. But hybrid semi-solid state batteries are more than likely to come out in vehicles in the first quarter of 2023. And those new batteries actually do have very high energy density. However, at an energy's grant from Harvard, along with a $5 million funding round earlier this year, will help develop the recently successful palm size cell into an upstream process that will hopefully yield a new full-scale EV battery. Adam's cell achieved charging rates as fast as three minutes and over 10,000 cycles in its lifetime. Tesla Wrighty says that it also displayed high energy density and stability that was incredibly predictable versus lithium ion cells, meaning much safer as well. It could be much safer than traditional lithium ternary batteries and potentially almost fireproof. Lee, along with other Adam founders, all maintain that developing a solid state cell could help improve affordability, availability, and the overall EV market share. Here's what they said, which I disagree with, by the way. Electric vehicles cannot remain a luxury fashion, literally the 1% of vehicles on the road. I mean, that's not even true, even remotely right now, but anyhow. If we are to make progress toward a clean energy future, and the US won't have a used car market if EV batteries last only three to five years, the technology needs to be accessible to everyone. Extending the lifetime of the batteries, as we're doing here, is an important part of that, said Lee. Now, Lee's obviously sounding a lot like Trevor Milton here, making some preposterous statements. EV batteries don't last three to five years. We know that. That's complete nonsense. I mean, the batteries coming out now, today, have closer to a probably... 10 to 25 year lifetime. Almost all of them do. Battery technology has improved drastically. And I think Lee's got his head in the sand or he's exaggerating, or he really just has absolutely no idea what is going on in the battery market. Lithium ion phosphate batteries as well. They're going to get you thousands and thousands of probably closer to 5,000 charge cycles using today's current technology. So there's huge improvements going on. Semi-solid state batteries, and solid state batteries are not even needed at all to tell you the truth. But the reality is this kind of technology absolutely is incredible. And I think it's more than likely we will see solid state batteries hit the market in 2025. Now that's my current prediction from what I'm seeing coming from these car companies, from these battery companies as well that are working with car companies in order to get the technology out there. However, the question I have is, by the time they do hit the market, we're seeing energy density of current traditional battery technologies dramatically improve every single year. It's actually possible that they might hit a big snag. The snag is this. Current battery technology, for example, CATL's new M3P battery, which is a lithium ion phosphate battery, which uses a manganese material and other materials in the cathode to increase energy density by 20%. Those batteries cost the same amount of money as CATL's old lithium iron phosphate batteries, which are very cheap. There's no way you could potentially make a solid state battery pack for the same price. Now, the thing is, if that energy density and reliability keeps on improving every year for the next seven years, is it really going to be that big of an advantage to have a solid state battery? I'm not so sure it is. Now, for example, I just made a video about Geely's new charging technology. Their new chargers can charge at 600 kilowatt, meaning you can recharge one of their battery packs up to 300 kilometers of range in only five minutes. Now, that is virtually solid state battery level technology, but it's a traditional battery. So you see my point here. Traditional battery technologies, ternary batteries, and lithium ion phosphate batteries, the technology is advancing at an incredible rate. And it's actually possible that the performance from these batteries might meet or even exceed that from the solid state battery technology we're seeing today by the time we get to 2030 
and solid state batteries become commercially available. That's why I recommend don't invest in solid state batteries. They could work. They could be huge. There's massive potential, but there's also massive potential that it never pans out. Now, I want to know what camp you're in. Do you think solid state batteries will be a big part of our future, of the electric car future? Or do you think they'll just play a minor percentage or none at all? What are your thoughts on this? Let me know. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.